that out. That looks very interesting. Should be some decent weather, maybe. Uh, maybe Carson. keep your umbrella. Yeah, just keep it just to be on the safe side, guys. More scattered showers and storms later on this afternoon. But the most widespread rain, that's actually going to be after sunset tonight. Big reason why? A cold front making its way towards North Alabama. We show you where, we'll show you where that cold front is in just a second. Right now, though, on the Way 31 SkyCam Network, temperatures pretty mild out there. Lots of sunshine, too. 72 in Huntsville, 70 in Decatur, 72 also in Gunnersville, and 73 degrees out in the shoals right now. So as you look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network here at home, all three of our radar sites in Muscle Shoals, Decatur, and Gunnersville showing a quiet picture. But look off to our north and west across really the Great Lakes, also heading out towards the Great Plains too. There you see that cold front with all that shower and thunderstorm activity ahead of the front across Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, heading out towards St. Louis as well. And all this activity will slide southward as the day progresses and it'll arrive here later tonight after sunset and last through the overnight hours and perhaps into early Friday morning too. We're not too concerned about severe weather, but just keep that in mind for your morning commute tomorrow. No issues for the commute this morning. Here's your day planner with those temperatures for the rest of the day, topping out in the mid to upper 80s by 1, 3 o'clock this afternoon with more of those afternoon storms on the table later on today. Here's future radar with those temperatures. It's a pretty sunny start to the day right now, but that cloud cover will continue to filter in through the rest of the morning. Temperatures in the lower 80s at 9 a.m. Pretty quiet by 1 o'clock this afternoon. Then you start to see a few of those showers developing in northeast Alabama by 3:30, and then that coverage becomes more widespread as that cold front gets closer. There's 7 p.m. tonight. There's midnight. I'm not concerned about severe weather overnight, but we could have some heavy rain. Maybe some gusty winds around 30 to 40 miles per hour too. There's 3:30 a.m. Notice the heaviest rain starting to slide southward by the time we get to the morning commute tomorrow. But a few of those showers might linger, and then we should start to dry things out, and that much cooler cooler, comfortable, less humid air moves in just in time for the holiday weekend. There's that rainfall forecast. If you're west of I-65, if you're in the Shoals, Molten, even Athens and Decatur too, you can see around a half inch to one inch of rainfall. This goes through about the next 36 hours. In northeast Alabama, where you might have a few more pop-up showers and storms today, combined with all of that rain we'll see with the cold front tonight, you'll see a bit higher amounts, let's say an inch and a half to two inches of rainfall if you're east of I-65. So once that cold front moves through, like I mentioned, that drier air, that less humid air starts to move in and all in all your 4th of July weekend looks perfect. 83 degrees for your Saturday. Lots and lots of sunshine. We'll do it all over again for the 4th on Sunday. 85 degrees. No issues whatsoever for any holiday plans you might have. And then that humidity starts to creep back in ever so slightly by Monday and those temperatures will warm up just a bit as well. Maybe a few passing clouds around if you have that extra day off on Monday with those high temperatures right around 90 degrees. Just got to get through today and tomorrow. That's it. 60% chance for those showers and storms this afternoon. Continue Continuing into early Friday, then it's all quiet for your 4th of July weekend with more humidity and showers and storms returning by next Tuesday. All right, Carl.